Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Hello everyone! We are talking this time about uh, the fan account of Virtual Rhapsody. I know I had gone over it in one of my videos, but this is a much, much bigger and more full account of how everything went. Of course, we all know that Virtual Rhapsody actually happened. Virtual Rhapsody went through and they did their day one and day two and all that kind of stuff. Meet and greets, all that wonderful stuff for their wonderful people that, of course, were trying to meet their Oshis. I do not mark them bad for meeting their Oshis. I mean, everyone has an Oshi out here if you're a VTuber in Jordan. Yesterday, the organizer couldn't digest all the people in the meeting with the estimated time. Without warning or discussion, they told the person who started at the back of the room when I entered the room that the meeting time would be reduced from 90 seconds to 60 seconds. We were compensated by being allowed to draw two random girl badges for free, which is very confusing and that's not, that's not worth it. I didn't think my unwanted peripherals would be enough to redeem the precious time I had spent interacting and conversing with the liver. So I immediately expressed my dismay that I couldn't accept it. And the person who was working around the fortress, with, with the place, the area where, where you were supposed to be, uh, turned around and left. And in the midst of all the chaos, the door opened and I was ushered in and I don't know when they started counting the time, but it looks like they started counting as soon as I walked in and was checking with the staff on what time was because I was just put on my headphones. I just finished telling Luca my name and I just replied with one or two words when the staff rushed in and said it was time for me to leave. Now that is very rude. Beyond being very rude, it is not fair to the person spending all that time and money to go to that place. In short time, I had my headphones on, the door to the small room kept opening and closing, people kept coming in and out, and even the two staff members who were originally in the room were not there. I was in a state of confusion, not knowing what to do, and being interrupted by people coming in and out of the room. Of course, that would be very, very rude to interrupt somebody when they're trying to have a uh, chat with their uh, Oshi, the Oshi that they have at that moment. It was so sudden, even Luca was shocked. I was arguing with the staff in Chinese. I kept hearing in my headset that he was also very shocked and said, what's going on? What happened? Why did you have to leave? Didn't you just start? Whether it's just me speaking the name, I still feel Luke is also very shocked. Uh, as a foreign fan who spent thousands, tens of thousands of dollars on airfare and hotels. That's the thing. People spend a lot of money to go to Singapore. A lot of money to go out there, especially if they're from China, if they're from anywhere else that is not in that specific region. It is very expensive to go there. I was really heartbroken and sad. I ended my meeting like this and then argued with the organizers outside with my friends who couldn't accept this way of handling the event and waited for the best they could give me at the moment. So I have to say that they did make up for the confusion and interruption when I entered the venue. I'm really thankful to Ning for arguing with me. But in that situation, even the short amount of time that was made up, my original anticipation of meeting the liver and having fun was ruined. I didn't get to say a single word that I had written down to say to Luca, and I'm saddened that I lost a chance to meet with him. I was still very sad and disappointed to leave the meeting and felt unworthy of the plane ticket I bought to fly to Singapore. I just hope this kind of sudden forced reduction of meeting time and interruption of interaction will not happen again. I don't see a second fan who feels sad because of this confusion. There are a lot of people. I've, I've been reading at least some accounts of this. More than one. So in Chinese, they call it blank, which translates to harvesting a particular plant that is resident in harsh conditions, basically implying that Nidhi Sanji, Nidhi sisters are just free cash cows for them. So basically someone translated it directly and meaning that basically they're treating them like a cash cow, which isn't fun. It isn't fun to be treated like just a, a free wallet, you know? Pitiful that people still defending Niji in their last bastion of hope when they, any color, don't even treat a source of respect and decide to spit in your face instead. Uh, let's say right here. Okay, it's legitimately sad. Say whatever you want about the individual livers of the people still supporting Niji. But it's wrong to ruin an experience like that for someone. Exactly. It's their Oshi. It may be even their Kami Oshi. Someone that they've been waiting for maybe years to speak to. Maybe over a year to speak to. Maybe this is their only chance that they'll be able to get a meet and greet like this. This is ruining someone's dreams. And no matter what you say about Niji Sanji, this is wrong. This is the, you know, the livers, you could disagree with all of them. It is wrong overall to do this. Especially a paying customer that went through so much effort to be there and have that experience. It's unacceptable and not, it's not the liver's fault at all, the company's fault, and it's the event organizers as well. No refunds. Basically, they should be doing refunds. They should be doing chargebacks, in my opinion. Honestly, I'm not going to read out all, the, all the, the chats because there's a ton of them, as you can see. But um, in general, people don't like this. I don't think there's anyone that would like this. I would see like, oh, you know, it's normal. It's fine. No, no one would, would say that. At least no one that I know would say that.
small little comparison with FaZe Connect and uh, Nidhi Sanji on both things that they do. Uh, in this one, it is FaZe Connect's Pippa 3D meet and greet compilation. The fact that a small organization like FaZe Connect was able to do a 3D meet and greet where they pretty much have almost like an AR type of experience, augmented reality. It shows a lot of how lazy Nidhi Sanji is with their tech. Look at the Afkai Phase Connect sections as well. There are clips out there. They look so much fun. Sure isn't a private what Niji isn't private as what Niji does. But I have a feeling going there uh, to these types of meet and greets are way more memorable to the fans. Fishman is a Chad. Pippa, the Ripper performance had better choreography than Albin, Sunny, and, and the R performance. Now Pippa at Otakon in DC. They, weren't they were using tech similar to Niji's Singapore concert, but actually looked presentable. Didn't have to wear crappy earbuds to communicate. Also, Pippo was wonderful to meet, although I was nervous as S. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Just real quick in this small area, because we don't need we don't need too much. We don't need to see it too big. You think Mi-chan can find me? I grew up in the countryside. I will fuck Mi-chan's shit up. <laughs> okay, your entire mannerisms are extremely, extremely fucking dorky. All right, listen, listen, dude. I smell degeneracy and hentai inside of your bag. See, and they're all there. This, this, this is fun. This looks very fun compared to what Nidhi Sanji just did. And the, like I said, again, the fact that a small corporation was able to do this and Nidhi Sanji can't seem to even get their thumbs out of their butts to do this is infuriating, really. Needy sister grifter says they'd never call for mass reports, then just does that. This person is one of the champions of the NDF is blatantly breaking Twitter X rules by calling for mass reports of accounts that are oftentimes not doing anything wrong, just don't like them criticizing Needy Sanji. And let's see what they say here. Let's take a look. And for anyone who's, this is the end-binted one, the, the one who really basically uh, said that false is an R and you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, you can't handle criticism. I criticize a lot of people on here. I've never simply told people to report an account these two accounts and the one posting them are blatantly and repeatedly violating terms and conditions. They're straight up lying. How can you say this not even 10 minutes after those other tweets? They deleted the original post because they don't want any other harassment dog pile to be sent to the cosplayer. But yes, I please report this account. Uh, report accounts like S sus VT memes. I don't know if they're related to basically they just called for reporting somebody when saying they don't report people. This is just blatant them being dumb, pretty much. It makes me sad when I see hardcore needy defenders with mint pomo PFPs. Percy could never support the company that made my Oshi cry and live on stream. I agree with that. Uh, Binted knows this. They said close to, they said they chose the mint motif because it upsets actual mint fans that dislike what Niji's doing. They don't actually care about mint. Otherwise, they'd realize how much of an S head they're being and using your like this like this. So that sucks. If they're actually just doing it to, to tick off people, that's not right. That's not cool. I don't really like that kind of thing. I don't appreciate that kind of thing. Um, I don't think it's right to do that. Uh, you shouldn't be using someone else's likeness just to take people off. Combined with the fact that they call themselves the only true Mint fan, it almost feels as if a taunt or malicious jab. They're intentionally trying to smear Mint's image. The Mint PFP making people upset at this point, they're not a Mint fan, they're a troll and malicious actor who feel it is their holy duty to protect a black company. I would not react to the use of their PFP. I can handle criticism, criticize other people all the time. How dumb can you be? Yeah, people are like SusVT, literally just S post account for every corpo and indie VTuber. The fact that he's mad about it uh, tells me how immature the person really is. And that's the last word I want to have on that one. I had mentioned this the other day. There's a CCV war. Well, Niji always tries to have like a war with CCV, a concurrent viewers. That's what it means. That means the viewers you have at the moment. Um, Any color had brought CCV wars to confrontational logic to the industry. It basically was the one that created it. Along with Needy Sisters propagandizing CCV as everything to beat up keys in the eye, wage ugly war live on dot .live, point they tried to do a ruling hand in the industry, how life took their place as a ruling party, and they continue to slander Hollow and others. Pekoda had a great solo Dragon Ball thing that had like 168 CCV as it says here. Stunning figure for a solo, the result of hard work, and she is in Hollow like all Dragon Ball characters have to put it over the years. In fact, both Pekoda and Hosho Marine were rejected by any color in the selection process. They joined the weak Hollow team and that at that point Hollow Live was weaker than Niji Sanji, uh, which was one of the top teams at the time. But I believe they have grown so much through their, their efforts. Yes, they did. And Hollow Live knew how to bring their talents up how to how to f make their talents flourish and almost all jp livers who were hired by any color as better than pecora marine at the time are missing it says uh suspect that had pecora marine joined nidhi sanji they would have failed too problem with niji is even with niji yen and a few exceptions i'm not sure of that isn't with the talent it is the manager's the strategic vision the um you know basically they don't put any kind of food any kind of desire into helping their uh livers better into bringing them up into you know their better state that they're supposed to be in 
No one succeeds at Niji. There's fade away. Look at Moruru and Luna. Moruru did really horribly at Niji Sanji. Luna, Himemori Luna, is doing amazing at Niji Sanji. They're both the same person. But look at what happens when a company cares to get you up. I desperately wish Hanamachia would get the heck out of there and go indie and maybe join Vishojo. Another one says there a lot. It's simple. If any color gave an S about his talents, investing them to supporting them or hiring good management, they'll create talent that can go toe to toe with Mar Marine, uh, Pekora, and Rusia. But any color didn't. They actually almost found a diamond with Salome, but they didn't do anything after that for her. And she left her, like other talents, to do what they want, to, to survive on their own. Basically, the result of Riku's business strategy, which is a bad business strategy. It's a business strategy I have disliked for a very long time. And here's the Usada Pekora thing. Uh, CCV of 138 at 543, but then it got bigger. She ended up with 134, and she ended up with, like, watched over 180,000 times with the Peko Mama thing, of course. She's had many, many, many other things, but the Dragon Ball Z had 168,007 uh, at the end of the stream. That was the concurrent viewer she had. And it's because Pekora is putting in a lot of work, of course, as Nidhi Sanji livers put a ton of work as well. I'm not saying anything negative about the livers themselves, the VTubers themselves, but the company's different. Hololive gives them loans if they want to do something big and they need to spend their own money. It helps them flourish. It nourishes them with support as manager. Uh, it, I think they also give them emotional support. They give them psychiatric support if they need it. They let them have breaks if they need it. All that kind of stuff helps your livers. You shouldn't be an eye in a hole to your livers. Hello, everyone. Today we are talking about Okami Mio. She is a Hollow Gamers from the Hollow Gamers, which which was, I believe, between Gen One and Gen Two. It was early on, and she's been there for many, many years. But right now, she is taking a bit of a break. And I will go into the reasons why she's taking a break. According to this post on our Hollow Live that someone put down, is saying that she's taking a break due to uh, health concerns. Uh, get well soon, of course, Miyosha. Health comes first. It absolutely always does. Whether you're a VTuber or IRL tuber, bread tuber, whatever you're called, you do need to take care of your health first because you cannot entertain your fans. You cannot be a successful content creator if you do not take care of your health first. Mio Sha fully recovers before coming back. The fans will be waiting and her wolf shall rest for she must heal. I hope everything turns out okay. That kind of sucks. I was really looking forward to the annual tradition of Golden Week, morning call-ins. But yeah, of course, she needs to take care of herself first. And there are a lot of people that are going to be waiting for her. Feel better, Mio Sha. I read it from yesterday's tweet. She had to go to the hospital yesterday. Luckily, it seems she did it in the correct thing to go first before something else happened. So here's her tweet. She says here, I'm sorry for causing you so much worry. I can't tell you the details of the situation because it, of course, is a very private situation. And I hope everyone respects her privacy. But I will be taking a break for a while due to poor health. Unfortunately, the Golden Week Morning Meal Reverse Attack on May 3rd will not take place. But I would like to do it again on another occasion. Of course, we will all be waiting because I am a fan of Mio as well. I'll do my best to be back in time for Gemma's Fest. Please wait for a moment, which is basically it's a machine translation. But, you know, it is... A lot of people are here wishing her well. They're ho they're letting her know, you know, that she's going to be missed. Here's a Mio plushie with the Mio uh, sweatshirt that came back. She has done so much to give warmth to people. She has tarot card readings, a lot of things like that to give so much warmth to people. And it's fine that she can take a rest, that she doesn't feel the requirement to stay out, even if she is, you know, feeling sick. Like, I, I feel that, that push to create, and she does too, but the health is the most important thing. So that's what I wanted to bring you guys here and let you guys just know and understand that, yeah, Mio's going to be taking a bit of a break. It's all good, though. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it. Whenever you guys do comment, take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.